Here's the Nokia N76. Obviously, it borrowed some of the Motorazer's features. Metal keypad, dents at the bottom, flip top, and other bits and pieces giving away its origin. However, compared to the Razer, it is very difficult to flip open. The flip action is somewhat clunky due to the hinge lacking the auto spring mechanism so that the clamp freezes halfway up and that's not all. The casings width and design doesn't allow for opening the handset with a single hand, so you always end up using both hands. Looking at it gives us an impression of a classy phone. It has a glossy plastic finish casing along with the mirror-like surface of the front plate. Kaso nga lang, medyo dim ang external display nito. The left side houses the micro SD card socket covered by a drop-out flap. Next to the memory expansion slot is the charger socket. The dedicated 2.0 megapixel camera button sits on the right as well as the gallery shortcut key. The volume rocker switch doubling as a zoom in or zoom out button while shooting accompanies the above controls on the right side. On the top end, you will find the rubber flap covered mini USB slot as well as, other, as, well as the power button and the HS43 headset port which utilizes a 3.5mm audio jack. While the bottom rim is occupied by a single speaker divided into two, the N76 does not have a stereo speaker. The Berry There keypad offers dents on its rim for that pleasant tactile feeling. On the top half, under the external display is a trio of function keys. Definitely, this phone is aimed at a fa fashion-conscious audience. But more than that, isa lang ang tanging nakakahanga sa phone na ito, ang external screen display. Just imagine, just imagine managing your received messages, calls, soundtracks, radio, and calendar without flipping your phone open. How do you do that? Let's say you want to play music. Just use the music control keys right below the screen. To scroll down through your tracks, use the volume control key. The back and forward button doubles as the select and exit key respectively. Its audio quality cannot be considered poor. The speaker's location is a good idea. It has resulted to better volume. Same thing goes with messages. Let's try sending the N76 an SMS message. The camera has settings that can also be found in other camera phones. You can use the internal display to capture photos or use the external display as well. When it comes to drawbacks, first on the list is its proneness to smudges. Kaya be ready sa regular na paglilinis ng casing, lalo na ng external screen nito. Its battery cover is quite hard to remove. When open, you will see the first ever reversed battery layout of Nokia. I was wondering what its purpose was, but one thing is for sure, it did not extend the battery life. Although the maker assures the N76's battery last, lasts up to 8 hours, but in practice it works for around 4 to 5 hours depending on your preferences, volume, and type of headphones. Nokia N76 is a handset that will require you to plug in the charger every evening. The SIM card bed placed beneath the battery is another point of interest, being in fact a yellow tray where you put the card into. Meron itong yellow label para ma-pull out ang tray nito. Other features are typical for an N-series phone, but it won't stand out from the rest when it comes to functionality and performance. The N76 is a win and loss phone. Read what Siguna or e-review has to say about it.